In this video tutorial, we show you the step-by-step -step process of adding the V380 dual-lens PTZ camera to your Wi-Fi network and the V380 Pro app. Introducing the V380 dual-lens Wi-Fi IP PTZ camera offers crystal clear HD resolution, remote pan, tilt, and zoom capabilities, and dual-lens technology for superior monitoring. With one fixed lens for consistent coverage and another that rotates vertically and horizontally, you get comprehensive surveillance. Plus, it features intelligent human detection with auto-tracking to ensure no movement goes unnoticed. The camera also boasts smart dual light modes with built-in 12 white LEDs and 9 infrared LEDs, supporting full-color mode, infrared mode, and double-light alert mode. It supports SD card and cloud service, with a maximum 128GB SD card for recording and optional cloud storage for added security. Whenever motion is detected, the camera immediately triggers an alarm, sending alerts and push notifications to your device. It is built with a microphone and speaker, enabling users to engage in two-way audio communication. This camera comes with the following accessories. User Manual DC 12V 2 Amp Power Adapter Camera Fixing Screws The camera has three interfaces, one is a LAN connector, the second is a DC input connector, and the third is a reset button. Loosen the mounting bracket screw using a screwdriver to adjust the fixing position. This camera support V380 Pro iOS and Android mobile app enables users to access live streams and playback to view recorded footage. The camera will push alert notifications to your cell phone in real time when it detects movement. You can customize the detection settings according to your preferences. The operational power requirement is DC 12 volts 2 amps. Connect the given DC power adapter to power up the camera. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi, keep the camera near the internet modem or router to set up the Wi-Fi and mobile app. Afterward, you can place the camera in its desired location. When powering up the camera, you will hear a voice announcement instructing you to connect to the network. Camera is starting. Please wait. Please scan the QR code on the camera and wait for the connection. Download and install the V380 app from the Play Store or the App Store. Open the app once it's installed and agree to the terms and conditions. If you're new to the V380 Pro app, you'll need to register an account with them. There are two types of registration methods available, email or mobile number. Choose any one of them based on your convenience. For example, we have chosen email registration. Select your region, then enter email address. Verify your email address by receiving the verification code and setting a password for logging into the V380 Pro app. If you already have a registered V380 account, you can log in directly using your existing credentials. Read all the features on the introduction screen. The app is now ready to add the camera device. Before adding, make sure the camera is in network connection mode. If not, reboot the camera or reset it using the reset button.
You can add the camera by clicking on Add Device or the plus symbol to head to Add Device. The camera scanner will open for scanning the QR code from the camera. Allow the app to access your location. Select your Wi-Fi network, which should be 2.4 GHz, and enter the Wi-Fi password. will generate the QR code. Show this code to the camera lens with a distance of 10 to 30 centimeters. Receive configuration information. Connecting. Network connected. The camera will prompt the voice, Network connected. Click on the button, I heard Network connected, after the camera voice prompts, Network connected. Now, set the password for the camera, which will help to connect to ONVIF or RTSP streaming devices or software. Enter or select your desired device name. Click on View Device to view the camera's live feed. Ensure the securely backed up and stored QR code. When you need to configure or modify the network settings of the V380 camera in the future, retrieve the saved QR code data and use it as needed. Setting up SD card storage and recording settings will be shown in another part of the video series. The V380 camera is now ready to use, with additional features including PTZ control, allowing you to pan and rotate the camera according to your preferences. After configuring the Wi-Fi and adding the camera to the app, you can install it in its intended location. The camera is now fully operational, offering live streaming, playback, and PTZ control features accessible from anywhere via mobile data or Wi-Fi internet connections worldwide.
bridge settings, event alerts, two-way audio, and other configurations. If you found this video useful, please consider supporting us. Your support helps us create more informative content like this and enables us to continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's through liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support is greatly appreciated.